Hello guys, have you ever wondered how Laravel resolves these dependencies? So basically in any method of your any controller, you just type hint the class name and the variable and Laravel somehow knows how to inject that class and then you can use the variable inside of your controller like this. How does it work under the hood? And I've received a comment on my YouTube here, how Laravel passes voice action or voice service in the controller method as input parameter. And in this video, I will explain it briefly like a concept, architectural concept of service container in Laravel. The whole topic is very deep and I will point a few links for you to read in the description below. So we get to Laravel documentation and there's a full page called service container. And this is a really long thing to read, but basically what it says is Laravel has a container of all the classes and automatically binds some stuff for you. So for example, this example, you can pass in your routes function service and Laravel will automatically know that the service is going to be used and it creates the instance of that class under the hood. If we scroll a bit down, this is exactly what is happening. It's a bit more complex, but basically inside of the Laravel, of the framework, it's binding the class to a new object of that class with parameters if needed. And that binding goes to the array of bindings of all the classes that are participating in particular request of Laravel. So service container contains all the classes that you need. That's why when you type hint it in the controller or in routes or in other some of the classes, not all of them, I will mention that in a minute. But when you type hint it, what happens under the hood? So this means that somewhere down below, it does new store voice request like this and binds it to any instance of that store request. Actually, let's make a full example. So what happens, this app bind store voice request class and stuff like that. Let's me just copy this to this, probably like this. And we don't need the app actually in this case. So something like this happens. Um, yeah, forgot this one. So it binds the concrete implementation of the class to anywhere that the class is mentioned in the controllers. And this app is actually the container. So this app contains all the bindings for all the Laravel project. And I know it sounds complicated, but if we get to practical level, Laravel does that for some of the classes and not all of them. So this is what it says in the documentation. So in addition to routes resolving, it has that in the controller, event listener, middleware, and more, but that's basically the main thing that you need to know is the controllers. That's like 90% of the case for that service container. Also, there's handled method of queue jobs and some other classes. But that is by default Laravel magic, as I sometimes call that, and you cannot use that on any class. So for example, if I create just any service class, and then I try to type in some store voice request request here, that wouldn't work because general service is not within the logic of that Laravel service container and you would need to bind that manually. But for controllers, you can easily type hint it in any method or in the constructor of the controller and Laravel will kind of know to create the object of that class and work with the object. Also, there's a separate Laravel documentation page on controllers. And in the controllers, there's dependency injections and controller. And here are a few more examples. So example with the constructor, and then what is more important or more applicable to us, method injection. So this is how form requests actually work. The things that you use probably daily under the hood, it uses service container to create the object of that request class and then work with that. So on a practical level, what you need to know is you can type hint anything in your controller and Laravel would resolve that. But if you want to know deeper and how that service container works, I suggest that you read all the page about service container and how you can bind some classes in a different way, maybe like overriding the container. And also, as I mentioned, I will have a few more articles for you to read on how that works under the hood. That's it for this time. Subscribe to the channel because I keep posting daily videos on this channel and see you guys in other videos.